Automakers and governments around the globe are poised to move electric vehicles in and gas and diesel vehicles out. The electric vehicle mega trend is unfolding and insiders know the time to get in on nickel and cobalt. The two critical elements to electric car batteries already in high demand is now. Don't miss this chance to get in on the opportunity to invest in physical class 1 nickel and cobalt before the mass market catches on. Go to www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Hello again, everyone. It's time for another cobalt and nickel market update, March 2019. First thing, since the beginning of January 2019, despite all the positive news, cobalt continues to get bruised up, down some 20,000 USD per ton, while nickel on an uptrend, gaining some 3,000 USD this year per ton. So let's take a look at some of the more recent news and see just what's going on with electric vehicles and two of the important metals in their batteries, nickel and cobalt. From mining.com, Chinese electric vehicle makers are gorging on nickel. Battery metals tracker Adamas Intelligence says Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers deployed 253% more nickel in passenger EV batteries in January this year compared to 2018. The Dutch-Canadian research company, which tracks EV registrations and battery chemistries in more than 80 countries, says the jump is due to an ongoing shift from lithium iron phosphate to nickel cobalt manganese cathodes. First-generation NCM batteries contained around a third cobalt with a chemical composition of 111 or one part nickel, one part cobalt, and one part manganese. But NCM batteries with higher nickel content, 622 and 523 chemistries, have become standard in China. According to Adamas, China is now the largest market for passenger EV nickel ahead of Japan and the U.S., which were the two largest markets in January 2018. Nickel used in car batteries jumped 88% in Germany and 54% in the U.S. year on year. The EV boom in China is only accelerating, and Adama says, despite being a seasonally slow month in January 2019, 3.27 gigawatt hour of passenger EV battery capacity was deployed in the world's largest car market, an increase of 439% over January 2018 levels. The average EV registered in China in 2019 contained nearly double the mass of battery metals and materials as the year prior. The price of nickel is up more than 20% in 2019 as stocks held in warehouses around the world registered with the London Metal Exchange fall to multi-year lows. Also from Mining.com, nickel demand growing thanks to EV boom. One of Australia's largest high-grade nickel producers, Western Areas, reported a significant increase in inbound offtake inquiries for nickel sulfide concentrate post-current contract periods. According to the company's managing director, Dan Laufer, this new trend is primarily linked to the accelerating electric vehicle battery sector. Addressing the second day of the Pay Dirt 2019 Battery Minerals Conference in Perth, Laufer said some of the new inquiry was driven in part by the company's second largest offtake partner, China's largest stainless steel producer, Xing Shan. Players looking to lock in new long term contracts will be doing so at a time technological changes in the battery space are favoring the new NCM 811 classification, nickel cobalt manganese, which research indicates will be the fastest growing battery combination by 2025. These battery cells offer better energy density, allowing fewer and or lower weight batteries in cars, but they will require even more nickel. The executive noted that the need for nickel is starting to rise at a time when its price is too low to incentivize new project development, something that can take up to three years. In his view, this means that supply markets are likely to diverge and split between stainless steel, a sector that consumes 72% of global nickel production, and EV demand, which currently accounts for 4% of total global nickel consumption but has been growing by 30-40% to 40 a year. 
The 811 nickel cobalt manganese combination where battery manufacturers are heading, this means that more nickel will be used to power up their batteries. Battery technology is key for electric vehicles and one company that knows this very well is Tesla, who is looking to establish a Chinese connection with one of the leaders in EV battery technology. From Bloomberg.com, Tesla is in talks with Chinese battery giant to power Model 3S made in China. Tesla Inc. is in talks with top Chinese battery producer Contemporary Amprex Technology Co. LTD about supplying sales for the Model 3 cars it will assemble at a new factory near Shanghai. As a result, CATL stock has jumped. CATL has been discussing the required specifications for the batteries with Tesla officials. The people said asking not to be named because the talks are private. There's no guarantee that an agreement will be reached, according to the people. For CATL, winning orders from a high-profile customer like Tesla would bolster its profile as one of the world's emerging battery-making powerhouses. Based in China's southern Fujian province, the company is on course to become the biggest manufacturer of lithium-ion batteries in China. And more news from Tesla as Electric.co reports, Tesla launches new supercharger with 1,000 mile per hour charging, better efficiency, and more. Tesla announced that the new supercharger is able to deliver a new 250 kilowatt of peak power thanks to an all-new liquid-cooled cable design. The video below shows it going even higher to 256 kilowatt hours. According to the company, the cable is significantly lighter, more flexible, and more efficient than their current air-cooled cable found on the V2 superchargers. With the new technology, there will be no power share between stalls like in the current version. On Tesla's most efficient vehicles like the long-range Model 3, the company says that the new supercharger V3 can add up to 75 miles of range in 5 minutes and charge at a peak range of 1,000 miles per hour. The automaker released the following video to show the new charging capacity. A new on-route battery warm-up software feature was also announced. When entering a supercharger station in your navigation system, the vehicle's software will intelligently heat the battery to ensure you arrive at the optimal temperature to charge. That's assuming you have enough charge in the battery when you come in. The new feature alone should reduce average charge times for owners by 25%. Tesla says that the new peak charging rate is only for Model 3, all produced to date, after a software update that will gradually ramp up as they deploy more new V3 supercharger stations in the next quarter. Okay, so batteries are becoming cheaper, stronger, and are being mass produced all over the world to meet the demand for the growing number of electric vehicles. And yes, China by far is the leader, while countries like the US they're still asleep at the wheel, being a bystander in the electric vehicle revolution. Those uh, top five companies, not a single one was from the U.S., which is why perhaps uh, in Simon Moore's uh, testimony, uh, another interesting thing that he said is the U.S. is a bystander in the global battery arms race. Why is the U.S. a bystander? How come, why do you think they're not trying to or, or pushing to, to take the lead? Yeah, um, well, so it, you have Tesla from the US, but you know their cell production in the US at the Gigafactory is actually done by Panasonic, so a Japanese company. Um, then Tesla take the cells on from there and put them into their vehicles. Um, I mean, in, in, um, I, why are they a bystander? I mean, it's it's kind of a good question. I think certainly there's been a huge drive from Asia, not just China but Asia as well, particularly Japan and, and Korea. Um, to develop their their um, lithium ion cell production and help the company, so there's been a government back drive um, to help that. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, but it's an interesting one. If I mean, if you consider the size of the U.S. car industry, and we know kind of where things are going, particularly with uh, CO2 targets, 
um, it's it's something that they need to focus on. And you know, the US government, I think, need to try and help those companies that wish domestically to set up lithium ion cell production capacity, but also the entire supply chain. So they could, you know, theoretically, the US could all, uh, almost, I think, even uh, produce the most, if not all of the raw, the critical raw materials they would need for um, electric vehicle production, but it, it needs a uh, government drive. And I think that has been somewhat overlooked to this point. Charging technology is rapidly moving into position to support the EV boom. In fact, chargers may soon be coming and moving into your home. For owners of certain electric vehicle models, Amazon.com will soon be allowing you to buy a charger, have it shipped to you, and even have it installed for you. From CNET.com, Kia partners with Amazon to make EV charger installations simpler. Drivers of Kia plugins will be able to buy a charging station through Amazon. Living with a plug-in hybrid or an electric car is all the easier if you have a high-powered home charging station. And now Kia wants to make it simpler for buyers of its plug-in cars to get such a charger installed. Kia announced that it's partnering with Amazon to make buying and arranging for installation of a charger as simple as buying anything else online. Customers can visit Amazon.com Charge My Kia to see level 2 chargers that Kia recommends while also reading reviews and other info from other buyers. The Amazon interface doesn't simply allow for purchasing the charger. Shoppers can also use the website to schedule a professional electrician to wire up the charger. Customers can complete the whole process before even receiving their new Kia. The goal? Remove one more barrier to adoption of plug-in cars. Being able to order a level 2 charger and installation through Amazon further demystifies and simplifies the experience for new Kia EV and PH EV owners. Worth Hedrick, Kia Motor America's Director of Car Planning and Telematics said in a statement, The tie-up with Amazon comes as Kia's plug-in fleet grows with the addition of the new 2020 Soul EV which joins the new Kia Nero EV, Nero PHEV, and Optima PHEV. It follows an earlier announcement in September 2018 that the Audi e-tron buyers would also be able to buy and schedule the installation of EV chargers through Amazon. And from your home, electric vehicles are making it onto the silver screen. 007 James Bond is going to be driving an electric Aston Martin in an upcoming movie. I guess this means the environmentally conscious spy will no longer have getaway smoke screens and oil slicks coming from his car. From TheGuardian.com, James Bond to drive electric Aston Martin in a new movie. Reports have emerged that Daniel Craig will get behind the wheel of a zero emissions motor in his latest adventure, only 250,000 pounds to dedicated fans. Long haul flights, tons of guns, and a bagpipe flamethrower. Such are the special demands of his career that James Bond has never been considered a poster boy for an eco friendly lifestyle. But the next year's 25th Bond film looks to set to have Ian Fleming's hero make his first concession to climate change by driving an electric Aston Martin, albeit one which retails at £250,000. According to reports of the film, whose working title of Shatterhand was recently debunked, we'll see Daniel Craig's 007 behind the wheel of an Aston Martin Rapid E, one of only 155 electric cars being built by the British manufacturer. The Sun reports that director Kari Joji Fukunaga has spearheaded the change with their source describing him as a total tree hugger. This is something Carrie pushed for and Daniel and the producers are going along with. Everybody is afraid of Bond being labeled 2PC, but they all felt the time was right to put him in a zero emissions vehicle. Aston Martin's relationship with the Spy franchise began in 1964 when Sean Connery drove a DB5 sports car in Goldfinger. And from the big screen to the Big Apple, New York, Electric vehicles might soon be singing a tune we all know. Start spreading the news. New York is looking at the numbers to go electric. From QZ.com, New York City says electric cars are now the cheapest option for its fleet. 
electric cars are expensive, the sticker price for electric vehicles has historically exceeded that for comparable gasoline cars, but that's less true every month. The arrival of cars like Kia's $33,000 electric Soul, GM's $36,000 Bolt, and Tesla's $35,000 Model 3, not to mention the $23,000 Smart EQ, have pushed the price of top-reviewed EVs below the median price for cars in the U.S., and that's before thousands of dollars in state and federal incentives. Yet the cost of ownership can be far cheaper for all electrics, which is of particular interest to fleet owners, including municipal governments. While average car buyers look at the sticker price, fleet owners focus on lifetime costs such as maintenance, fuel, and ancillaries. They want to know every penny they'll be spending over the course of a decade. EVs, because of their low fuel or electricity costs and relative simplicity due to uncomplicated motors and fewer moving parts, are cheaper on a relative basis than their conventional counterpart. By this calculation, EVs now appear to be cheaper. A 2019 study of five European Union countries found a VW Golf owner would save anywhere between 5% UK to 27% Norway driving an EV version of the vehicle versus a diesel. So far, few EV fleet owners have driven enough miles over several years to collect solid data. But in March, New York City realized its numbers to the public in what it calls the first analysis of its kind. The city analyzed fuel and maintenance costs for 1,893 vehicles of its 9,196 light passenger vehicles in 2018 it found servicing costs with all electric vehicle models was less than for gas, hybrid, and hybrid plug-in models. Lower battery costs, lower charging times, lower pollution, lower overall maintenance costs are going to add up where we may no longer see these lower cobalt and nickel prices. Major countries, major cities are going electric Start spreading the news and get in on the EV revolution today. That's it for this month's market update. Take care, everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles. You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by silver bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your silver bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash EV, and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 6100 3040.